Please welcome to Director Paul White. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for being here. Welcome back, Lily and Jane. You were just with us two nights ago for the world premiere of Amy for Brady. Paul, um, so you wrote and you directed the film, and I wonder if you could just take us back a little bit. Uh, what was the sort of the, the spark for this project? Um, the spark was uh, Lily and I had done a film called Grandma, and uh, I met Jane through that, although I later found out that Jane had gone to grade school with my mother. Um, <laughs> Earlier connection. Um, but uh, so, and then one day Lily called me up and said, Oh, Jane and I were talking, and we think you should write us a film. And uh, a couple of years later, I called their bluff. Um, it, it stuck in my head, and I had the idea of the, uh, the scene at the funeral in the beginning and, and that happening. And from that, I built the architecture of it. And, and then I terrified them by actually sending the script. <laughs> so, you had the idea to come together for a project. Did you have any sort of uh, idea as to what sort of thing you wanted him to do? Did you give him any input? Yeah. No, I had no idea whatsoever. I just, I just totally loved Paul, and I knew that he would do something interesting and funny and great and terrific and subtle and bizarre and everything. So uh, that was fine. I, but I mean, uh, you know, I just. I took it upon myself. I looked at Jane one day on the set of Grace and Frankie. And I said, Jane! And I said, you know, I'm just going to call Paul up and tell him to write a movie for us. <laughs> and Jane, what was your reaction to that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love Grandma and. Um, I feel a, a special relationship with Paul because I went to elementary school with his mother, Susan Conner. She's not here, is she? No, she's not. Susan Conner was nominated for an Oscar for Invitation to Life for Dan Turner. Wow. Yeah. And, um, so I, what were you going to say? I'm going to try my Susan. Anyway, I, I was really excited that he wanted to, to, do, to do it, and I'm really grateful. Well, anyway, so my Susan Connor story is in Detroit when I'm like 16 or 17 or something. Uh, my mother was getting ready to go see Imitation of Life with Lana Turner and Sandra D. And uh, I didn't know who so Susan Connor was, but my mother said, "Oh, I'm so excited to see this movie. It's going to be such a such a good cry." And she opened her handbag and she had three washcloths inside. <laughs> and then I saw, and I saw Susan Conner and I just flipped for her. I thought she was so great and so, just so moving and powerful. And so then Paul called me to be in admission with Taylor Leone. Taylor Leone, right? Tina Fey. <laughs> Tina Fey. <laughs> Unless we did another movie commission with Tina Fey. No, but anyway, and I said, I said, uh, 
I don't know how I said it. Oh, you must have said mine. I said, were, were, were your, what did your parents do? I always interrogate the directors. <laughs> what did your parents do? And he said, blah, 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 blah. And my mother was, you probably don't know her, but she was a, a movie actress. Uh, her name was Susan Conner. And I sort of, I bounced off the ceiling and, the floor and everything else, and that was it. It was a, a great, a great experience. Um, so we talked a little bit about Amy for Brady, but you Bond is kind of the professional arrestee. <laughs> Did you bring any of that uh, that hardness from doing uh, some time into your character? What are you looking at? Both of you. <laughs> Question. Um, you did you uh, doing your your arrests and your and your history with uh with the law your run-ins with the law? Did that inform your character at all? Oh yes, um, I was asking if your arrests and your run-ins with the law had had, did you bring any of that with you to this character? No. I should have. Paul, I think, I, well I mean for really everyone here, I think what's really special about the film is it's obviously hilarious. We 